I'm Daniel Silverstein, and I'm the founder of Zero Waste Daniel. So we make basics and really fun pieces that anyone can wear. I am a zero waste fashion designer. When I started working in the fashion industry over 10 years ago, I saw that everywhere I went from school to my different internships to my first jobs out of school had the same problem. There was waste in between the pattern pieces and I always say it's kind of like cutting out cookies. So if you roll out a sheet of cookie dough and you place your cookie cutters, there's always those weird left out spots in between. But when you're making cookies, you can ball all that stuff up and roll it back out and squeeze a couple more cookies out of it. But in the fashion industry, we take those same pieces that are in between our pattern pieces and we just throw away the leftovers. So my idea is to bring them all back together and create something new and great out of the leftover materials and turn the would-be waste into one more piece. So what I do is a process that I call re-roll, where I take scraps of fabric, join them together to make new sheets of fabric, and cut out new pieces and create new designs. Each one is a one of a kind because the fabric is always changing, and each one saves about a pound of fabric from going to land. We make everything out of fabric scraps and offcuts from local designers. We collect from cutting rooms, design rooms, and from places like Fab Scrap that collect from over 250 local designers and resell materials that can't be used. So what we do is focus on things that have a small percentage of spandex in them, are hard to recycle, or that are too small for other designers to use. And everything is handmade. My interest in sustainability comes a lot more from my lifestyle. I live zero waste at home and try not to bring in things that come in disposable packaging or that would force me to send something to landfill. Of course, nothing is perfect and there's always weird little bits of plastic, whether it's a seal on a jar or a string from a tag. It can be anything and I try my best to collect those things and reuse them when appropriate and also just not to buy things that have those attached. When I'm creating the shipping process for Zero Waste Daniel, I always use recyclable, recycled and reusable materials. And we also try and use all post-consumer recycled packaging. In the fashion industry, it's typical for about 15% of the material to go straight to landfill. And when I was working in my first job out of college, I had the privilege of sitting in on a costing meeting and I got to learn about how when we produced sweaters overseas, a large percentage of some of the fabric would end up in landfill. And when you're making one piece, it doesn't seem like it's that much, but when you're doing hundreds or thousands of pieces, you can end up having hundreds and thousands of pounds and tons of waste. And what I wanted to do was make sure that my work was not contributing to that, but also proposing a solution for it. It's really important in fashion and in every industry that we consider the idea of circular economy. It's so crucial that we use our materials responsibly and try and use all of everything. So whatever we consume, we're consuming it responsibly. Instead of sending part to landfill, can it be reused, resold, remade, upcycled, recycled? All of these factors can really change how a brand operates, but also how we impact our environment.